Today I'm starting a new series about test-driven development in embedded systems or TDD in embedded systems. I first learned about TDD about a year ago when I was taking a class on software as a service. Later on I went for an interview at a company which used the combination of TDD and pair programming in embedded systems. And about two months ago I had to write a example program very rapidly and what happened was that I decided to use TDD because TDD by writing the tests first allows you to understand the problem much better and here is a portion of the code and since I wrote it really rapidly if a test would fail I would just go into a while true loop this amongst other things in this program the company had asked me to do some Fibonacci series and here is some of the tests and since I had taken uh, some cones including Python cones and uh, Ruby cones these are TDD based methods of learning a language I this is the way that all the tests were test something and it's very easy to understand test Fibonacci zero is zero and here we have what goes on. I decided to use an TI MSP430 launchpad board that I have. These are very cheap boards. You can learn a huge amount about embedded systems and um, they cost about $15. I don't exactly know. When they were first introduced, actually, they cost uh, less than $5, but I missed out on that. Um, and I believe there's a new version with FRAM in it uh, just now. And in TDD, um, you first write your unit test, and the test will fail because on the other side, the subroutine is doing nothing or the function is doing nothing and uh, that is a red situation then when it passes the test you get to a green situation and finally if you refactor it and many times in embedded systems you may be difficult to refactor it um, you end up in a yellow situation. I have two LEDs on this board. One is red and the other one is green. So what I did was if you pass, you turn the red one on. If you fail, you turn the green one on. And for yellow, I turn on the red and the green. I already wrote this code and um, here I'm going to load it into my system. And I do not see it need this message, so let's get on with it. And lo and behold, here we are. And um, I am going to run it, whereupon you're not going to see anything at this moment. You could actually put breakpoints instead of these delays. restarted 